hello, hello, dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Pertha. So, as always, guys, thank you for your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And if you haven't done so, I suggest that you do, especially if the readings resonate with you. It helps with growing the channel, getting the video out there for more people, as well as keeping me accountable. Um, so we're doing Gemini. Gemini, you have a lot going on this week. Um, and I feel that you're you're feeling the pressure of it. Um, you may have said um, a lot of... Give me a second. A lot of goals. And... The thing is that they are not necessarily unrealistic. Um, you're just getting distracted. So if if you, let's put it this way, like if I said, okay, today I'm going to do A, B, C, and D. And then I decide I need a 20-minute break, right? <clears throat> and I say, okay, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do a 10-minute meditation. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do like, you know, um, walk outside a little bit. But instead, um, I turn on the TV. And then the next thing I know, it's like three hours later. So it, it wasn't so much that my A, B, C, and D were unrealistic. It wasn't so much that the meditation was unrealistic. It wasn't so much that the walk outside was unrealistic. It was the fact that I got distracted by the TV and now it's like three, four hours later. So all of those things that I could have done in those three to four hours, I I basically invested in watching TV and was completely unproductive. So that is the energy that you have to watch out for this week. Um, I feel that if you allow yourself to um, get grounded um, every single morning, whether that is taking two minutes, three minutes, five, ten, whatever it is that you need um, in order to kind of feel like you're grounded within yourself, feel like you are in alignment within and also with um, spirit in the universe, then all of these um, unrealistic goals that you have for this week are going to um seem very easy so this this week for you is the 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 mind game right which is always kind of like where we're kind of always at but this week you have to actually really talk yourself into getting task done because for whatever the reason there is this wanting to just like chill and just wanting to like ugh, like not not continue on with something or postpone something um till a later time and you're being told like no 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 this is not the time for you to be putting things um aside this is a time for you to um kind of emerge yourself into your task um whether you know whatever task you have put out for yourself that are quote unquote outside of your day to day right so if, if we talk about let's say like if you work a nine to five but you want to start your own business or you you want to start whatever it is then you have to not just write it down and say okay after work on monday wednesdays and fridays i'm gonna work on my business from six to nine right it, it, it's very nice to have it written down right i can make you a, a list for the next year um in a couple of like with, within a matter of minutes right but are you going to actually show up are you going to keep that commitment to yourself when six o'clock comes and that is where you're having the biggest challenge this week so whether it is that you have to set alarms on your phone, like, you know, 10 minutes prior, like, hey, uh, 10 minutes, we got to sit down and do this and, you know, whatever it is, but really needing to stay on track this week, really needing to stay on track of yourself when it comes to the things that you committed to you. Now, we're not talking about the things that you committed to others. We're talking about you, right? Because when you're able to set that example for yourself, where you show up for yourself, then it, not, it, it almost becomes like a second nature than when you show up for others. Um, because if you allow yourself this week to get off track and get distracted, um, it's going to seem very overwhelming um, where then you might just want to give up on this goal or this dream or completely. Okay? So kind of keep that in mind for this week, Gemini. Um, stay on track. Um, do whatever it is that you have to do. Um, if, if you have, if you want to take a break in between whatever it is that you're doing, that is perfectly fine, but set your timer so that when that timer goes off and your break is off, you're going to go ahead and, and get back to work. Um, it, it's almost like you're, you're needing to take 
your own personal goals kind of like how you do at work right so like if you don't show up for your shift um there's a, there's a high chance that you're going to get fired right or you're not going to get paid if you don't show up and work your hours it's almost kind of like that that energy like well if you don't show up for yourself then how are you expecting anything to change in your life so here we have Sophia and then we have the eight of wands in the reverse with the wisdom um teacher in the reverse so there there is definitely a sense here of a, again you already know what it is that you have to do you already know what it is that works for you um what it is that you have to do in order to stay on track what it is that you have to do to make sure that you're showing up for yourself that you're that you're staying committed to to the things that you told yourself you were going to do so do not slide back on this um again there there is a sense here of getting very 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 easily distracted either by other people or um by the tv or whatever it is and then what that does is that it, it allows you to to believe that you are setting unrealistic goals when in reality you're not you're capable of much more than you give yourself credit for it is just a needing to and needing to get your thoughts um, and actually taking the action when you say you're going to do them, right? Um, so personally, um, you know, phones nowadays have a lot of good um, <laughs> qualities to them. You can set your phone on do not disturb or personal time or whatever it is um, in order to minimize the distractions that are coming in. Um, maybe if you work from your bedroom or whatever it is, maybe it's not having a TV in your room or not having a TV in the space that you're working or the space that you're doing, whatever it is that you're doing. Um, no one can come and tell you exactly how to do it. You have to know what, what those challenges are. And then you have to work, you have to figure out a way to work around them that best fits you right um until something becomes um second nature is what i keep on hearing so you know and it really depends on what you read or whatever it is some people say you know it takes 30 days some people say it takes 21 days to um make to start a to start not to start but to actually like um be in a routine that then it just kind of becomes a second nature um and for you it may take a little long a little little longer than 21 days um but regardless of every of anything why am i stuttering over my words so much um regardless of anything the whole point is to show up until something becomes second nature to you so let's pull out an oracle card now this can be confirmation to your reading, your advice, or something that you need to be made aware of that you're not seeing clearly. Um, just show up for you, Gemini. Just show up for you. That's what I keep on hearing. Show up for you. Show up for you. Show up for you. The candle magic. Speak. Speak your breath into, the, into its velvet. Recite along its spine all that you desire, all that you wish will unravel. Number nine. So again, we're talking about your thoughts, right? Our thoughts become what we say, right? Our thoughts become what we manifest, right? It all starts with a single thought. So this week, be very mindful of what you're saying, um, whether there are limited, um, limited beliefs or whatever it is, be careful with what you're saying to yourself because that internal dialogue is your biggest sabotage this week. Well, guys, uh, thank you for your love and support. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Mwah. Love you all. Bye-bye.